Well, it is time to ask the pharmacist. Have to have doc happy to have Dr. Michael White from the Yukon School of Pharmacy back with us again. And a uh, doctor, today we have a viewer question about a nutritional supplement. That viewer wrote in to say that she has her she had her thyroid removed, so she takes something called Synthroid to replace her thyroid hormone. But that's not the question is about. The question is about uh, a product she wants to buy called Athletic Greens. It appears to be a supplement of some kind. She wanted to know whether or not it was safe, and you did some digging into it. Yeah. So. Uh, this is a, a product that's kind of like Texas Superfoods and a multivitamin all wrapped up together. Mm -hmm. So uh, all in all, there's over 100 ingredients in the, in, in the product, and they're broken down into different categories. There's a lot of others that they sell on the market that have the same type of uh, kitchen sink approach to, yeah. uh, to good health. Yeah. So here they have uh, a multivitamin and uh, multimineral that's inside this powdered supplement. They have a prebiotic that's supposed to help to uh, feed gut bacteria, and they have two good gut microbes that they're going to be uh, giving you in the product as mm -hmm. well. On top of that, they have uh, uh, around 50 extracts from fruits, vegetables, mushrooms, and other uh, plants and roots. And so that's what really makes up the, uh, the product. So if you look at it overall, uh, We've talked in you know some of the past segments about you know how studies have shown taking a multivitamin, multimineral type supplement really doesn't benefit the average person's health. Okay. If people have absorption issues, if people are doing serious dieting, or they have trouble being able to uh, take in enough regular nutrients, if they have macular degeneration, if they have Crohn's disease, or uh, something that causes inflammation for the uh, for the intestines, multivitamins and multiminerals can be beneficial. For people who have, you know, chronic diarrhea or have periodic diarrhea uh, or other gastrointestinal issues, those prebiotics and, uh, you know, the, uh, the probiotics actually have been shown to be beneficial. Yeah. And in all of these other uh, extracts, some of them have some promising data in single cell studies and in animals. The human data is really, really lacking. So we don't know if any of them are actually going to, uh, are going to pan out. So I think when you put it all together, uh, you know, the one important thing is just because you have an extract from a beet, an extract from a spinach, an extract from pineapple doesn't mean that you're going to get all the benefits that you would have gotten if you had eaten a beet, spinach, right, yeah. and pineapple. Yes. Because with the extracts, one of the things that, that you miss out on is you miss out on fiber. And fiber is one of the very important things that you end up getting in fruits and vegetables that helps to be able to improve your health. And when you extract it, you can either extract the water-soluble things, you can extract extract the fat soluble things or you can get a little bit of both but you can't extract everything that you would need to have from those products. Right. So what's the overall verdict then? So the overall verdict is when I looked at the doses of the individual uh, uh, ingredients, none of them were abysmal. They do testing to make sure that what they have on the label is actually in the bottle. So that's very okay. good. All right. uh, so I think overall the product is going to be safe. I didn't find any issues uh, you know, where it would do anything bad specifically for thyroid disease. The one unknown is that when you use the kitchen sink approach and that you throw everything in together, there's uh, there's data that says, well, this ingredient is safe when you do it like this, and this ingredient is safe, but are they safe when you put them all together and you take all of them at the same time? Yeah. I think the overall risk is relatively low of having one of those problems. Is the viewer's health going to be improved by taking the product? I didn't hear anything about malabsorption syndromes or that they were right. doing serious dieting, just that you know they had uh, overall thyroid issues. So... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's right. going to be the kind of person who would get great benefits from right. it. But if it's something that uh, uh, that the viewer had wanted to try, I don't think that there's any harm in trying the product. Right. So it may not help all that much, but it's probably not going to hurt much either, is I think what I'm getting from this. Yeah. Thank you for looking into it. A Thank lot you. you looked into to really help her out, so we appreciate that. Uh, if you would like uh, Dr. White to get on the case for something you want to get checked out, just send a question to morningnews at fox61.com. You send us an email to ask a pharmacist.